Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show, Vivian Sanan, joining us, the CEO and founder of Connectar All Success, based out of beautiful Brampton, Ontario in Canada. She's back today live on the Zoom as well to talk more about coaching and training and uh, how she really helps uh, French-speaking black populations to really promote their leadership and coaching, training, conferences, you name it. She's here to help so many with her one-on-ones. And also her individual coaching with organizations, youth for adults online as well and in person. So there's a lot to you. Welcome back today. Great to see you today. Thank you. Great to see you again today too. (laughs) Well, please introduce yourself to our listeners and viewers today to start. Thank you. Okay, so good afternoon, everybody. I'm Vivian Sinan, the CEO of uh, Connecté au Succès, which is a coaching and training business uh, dedicated to enhancing the self-esteem of the French uh, Black-speaking population in order that uh, to uh, promote their leadership one other thing that is important to us is youth. So we have been uh, holding the a program called uh, Les Rendezvous de la Relève in English. It's Youth Success Meetings, which have been which we have been leading for the past three years. And the goal is to prepare and equi- equip uh, young individuals to become the leaders today and tomorrow. Yeah, this is, and I live in Brampton, Canada, Ontario. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you. How can we find you, by the way? Could you share your uh, phone number and website? Sure. Uh, my phone number is plus one six four seven two one seven two zero five seven, And the website is www.com. Connecté au succès, so C-O-N-N-E-C-T-E-R-A-U-S-U-C-C-E-S dot com. A little bit longer. <laughs> That's okay. We're excited to have you. And by the way, do you have any um, social media pages you want to direct your uh, listeners to? Yeah, they can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and um, also on LinkedIn. So on Facebook and Instagram, you will find uh, Connecté au Succès, the same as the website, C-O-N-N-E-C-T-E-R-A-U-S-U-C-C-E-S. And on LinkedIn, they will find Vivian Sinan, me, myself. Beautiful. And also, what is the name of your book? My book? Yes. I have a, a well, book. I'm on the website, but it's in French. So it's a. Yeah, it's in French. It's Revel. <laughs> Could you tell, so tell me? It's, it's uh, uh, what I want to say in this book. It's like show, reveal the life that is within yourself. Like. You have something inside you that the world needs to know. So let it shine. Got it. Well, let's talk a little about some of the work you're doing. What would you like your listeners to know today? Because I learned last time, I know you grew up in Africa, right? Uh, yeah. And you wanted to become an interpreter. And yeah. that's what you had, right? And tell me how you got here. Would you mind just sharing a little about where you, uh, you came from and where you moved to? And then we'll talk about all the work that you're doing to help people. Okay, thank you. So I was born and raised in West Africa, a country, a beautiful country named uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. And uh, I learned, I grew up there, I learned, uh, so I, as I said, I, I, a young girl, I wanted to become an interpreter. But moving on, I uh, studied law, and then uh, I have the opportunity to come in Canada because I was looking at, uh, like, I wanted to learn more. I wanted to discover a lot. So I chose Canada because of the diversity in this country. And, uh, yes, so I came here. But uh, during the pandemic, I realized 
that uh, uh, black people or especially uh, French speaking black people have some challenges. So I wanted to help them. So he, uh, I decided to share my experiences. And because when I was back in Africa, in Ivory Coast, I used to be a volunteer in a, um, an organization, the Lions Club. I used to uh, learn how to be a leader. I learned leadership in this organization. So I wanted to give back to my community to help people uh, from my background here in Canada or all over the world because it was during the pandemic and everything was online. So I wanted to help them believe in themselves and do something like they are able to do something. They are able, they have a lot of things they can share to the world. So I started sharing my experiences and then this uh, a little bit led to the coaching form uh, training. Yeah. Amazing. And I know, you know, there's a lot to helping people starting out. They need to gain that trust, right? And to establish the credibility to work with you. It could be difficult for people. Um, And you're also a speaker besides a coach. So I'm not sure where you want to go because I know uh, there's a lot that you have to offer. Was there an area of focus for today's show that you want to make your listeners aware about you and your team and uh, how you're helping? Okay. Yes. Uh, we are focusing, for example, on coaching individuals, business or institution uh, through the um, topics like self-awareness, communication, leadership, and relation. I all I am also a John Maxwell uh, speaker, so uh, sometimes or. Uh, when people need my service, they can call me to be uh, the moderator of the uh, panels or conferences uh, like this. Or also, I'm very passionate about helping the uh, young generation. So I put a lot of time uh, meeting the youth because I think for me, it's important to listen to them. For me, it is it's important to give them space, uh, uh, a space where they can share their feelings, they can share their dreams. Okay, so this is uh, something I've been doing for the three last years, and I don't think um, <laughs> I, I I will stop it because for me it's a responsibility. It's important to uh, continue the work that our um, those who, were, who, who came before us did for us. So we have to continue to give, to give to the youth so that they can be ready for their responsibilities in the city, in the society. Now, also, when I go to your website, right, there's... Um, uh, a lot of other people you're working with, do they all have, you know, specialties, uh, you know, from the youth through, um, you know, to different programs? Did you want to share some of those in particular? Uh, yes, I have the opportunity and the chance to uh, host a leadership summit. And uh, because I think uh, it's important to have models right it, when you see uh, the models you it gives you uh, the sense of where you are going and that you can do it so during this summit i identify some uh, leaders in the community it can be through uh, like real estate they are leader in real estate or leaders in um, how can i say technology or leaders uh in um what else can i say but i call i i invite them and we they, they share a little bit of their experience to the community so that people in the community can know that uh, it's possible they can um f- find uh some solution through the the um like I can say, the journey of these uh, experts, of these leaders. 
so that they can get the help they need. Yeah. So yeah, there is people in different uh, uh, area, a different field, or also youth. Like some youth may have as a passion arts or sports or uh, what else or uh, technology too. Yes. So I bring them together, and we're doing a summit so that they can uh, share what they know to the other youth and then impact them. So hold on. I also want to ask, um, you know, going over your work here and your notes that we kind of talked about last time, how many languages do you speak? Yeah, I speak <laughs> I speak four languages. I speak French, I speak English, and I speak two languages from my country. Oh, my goodness. I commend you on that. So you're really able to work with a lot of different clientele. Yeah. Um, could you share some of the success stories of the clients you've been coaching and working with, whether it's through the one-on-ones or, you yeah. know, some of your programs, uh, through yes. your organization? would love to hear about it. And then I want to talk about your speaking work, too. Thank you. So, yeah, some uh, success stories that I have. Many people come back to me and say, you're very, um, like, the work you're doing is very inspiring. And uh, also uh, people say, through your coaching or through your uh, training, I got a lot of awareness of, for example, my belief. Or I thought I uh, I was not able to do so and so, but listening to you coming through your coaching or coming to your trainings help me understand that I can do a lot. I can I can know better about myself. I can um, also uh, I, I can be a leader. I have leadership within myself because some people were with a low self esteem were like no I, someone like me can do that. But through my coaching, through my um, training session, that some w- women, especially, there are more confident now. They, they, they are no more shy to be themselves. Okay, so this is uh, some uh, success story that I have. I learned uh, last uh, weekend that a young girl, I think she's eleven, but. Uh, attending my uh, training session, was able to be the speaker at the graduation ceremony in a school because she come to my uh, program. So this was very, I was very uh, like grateful for that to know that I'm making something in someone's life. Yeah. Well, thank you. And at this time, we just have to remind everyone how we can contact you once again. Please share the website, uh, phone number, any social media pages. Okay, thank you. So the website is www.connecteosuccess, so C-O-N-N-E-C-T-E-R, a u s u c c e s dot com. The phone number is plus one six four seven two one seven two zero five seven, and you can find me in on Facebook or Instagram through Connecte or Succès, and um, on LinkedIn. Vivian Sina is, uh, you will find Vivian Sina, yes. Well, thank you so much. Now, tell me a little your work as a speaker. You offer your services for panels, for conferences. Could you share uh, some of that work and uh, who you're working with and how, of course, you could be of service to someone out there who has a business or organization that could use yeah. someone like you with your skills? Thank you. So I've been working uh, with... Uh, uh, some organization in the community like uh, Aquaba Community. It's an organization that is helping a newcomer in Canada to have a better integration. So they use, uh, they have uh, a lot of program or some conferences that they call, uh, they, they ask for my services. Uh, for example, during uh, Black History Month, I used to be the moderator of a panel uh, talking about uh, professional integration of uh, 
people coming in Canada. I also was um, a moderator in a panel during uh, the Vision Summit that uh, was in March 2024 in uh, Toronto. Uh, it was about uh, leadership and innovation. Like, so it's, it was, uh, we put together leadership and uh, technological innovation. I also um, was uh, the speaker of uh, um, a forum organized by an organization called Connecture Canada. So it was an economic uh, forum. And uh, I used to be the, the speaker, by the way, it was my first, uh, uh, um, I can say, my first panel conference fully in English, because most of the time when I do, it's in French. But for this one, I stepped out of my zone, comfort zone and I went, I do it, I did it completely in English. And uh, yeah, these are some of the the speaking session that I have. I can have also some speaking session online if uh, some people want it. So I can do it in person or online. Yeah, for any conference or uh, any uh, panel, like um, economic organization. Uh, um b- businesses yeah i'm uh, ready for uh, every kind of initiative that i can help yeah all right well also um you know the work that you're doing um you know you mentioned you saw many challenges growing up in in your community right and to let people know it's okay what type of challenges uh you know are people dealing with that you're really helping especially with our youth and i know you're doing a lot of success mentoring as well Mm -hmm. yeah so if i got you uh correctly it's uh uh, the the struggles like of the youth, right? So uh, uh, first, I can say their communication. They have a lot of challenges you with disease and struggle with LDLC. Hello, you said with disease? No, there are challenges Helping struggling with, with disease. I heard struggling <laughs> with the communication. Okay, like communicating with their parents, communicating uh, with uh, their their uh, their friends. But most of the time, the challenge they have is the, uh, the communication with parents. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a big challenge for them. Like sometimes uh, there is misunderstanding. So yeah, or they feel like Parents um, uh, don't listen too much to them. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, some of the yeah. uh, the challenges they're facing. They have a challenge also with uh, like um, managing their social media. Like so, uh, you know, today there are um, there are phones. They have social media. There's a lot of happening out there and they're not always like uh, ready to uh, manage what is coming through the social media. So bullying and stuff like that. So it's uh, a little bit challenging for the youth. They, they, they need also to know more about uh, finance, like um, managing, um, their finance or uh, know about how finance works. Okay, so this is uh, some of the uh, the concern that they have. Yeah, got it. All right, thank you for that. And I know you mentioned there's a lot of lack of mentorship and support networks out there, and um, you know mentorship really has positively affected you as well. And I know your your uncle was a mentor to you as well. Are you mm-hmm. still in the position of mentoring uh, people too? Yeah, because for me, mentorship is key. Mentorship is very, very important. You can uh, like save time if you have a mentor. If someone walk with you, uh it can help a lot because 
they're uh, saving you to make the mistake they made themselves. So for me, it's very, very important to mentor, to share what I have been uh, through, to share it to new people like uh, the people that are beginning something new or even the young generation or if anyone who is in need, it's important that I can give my experience. I can uh, walk with them, guide them through their uh, journey so that they don't make the same mistake like me. They, they don't, the, they don't um, have the same issues. So yes, for me, definitively mentorship is key it's important yes so i'm i'm open to mentorship yeah well thank you and what else did you want to make sure we cover for today in our last few minutes together to make sure people are aware of the work you're doing and how of course most importantly you can help them oh i want everyone listening now to know that uh everything is possible but it needs first uh, work on ourselves, on our uh, own, and then uh, an action that we need to take so uh, so that what we dream of can be a reality, can come true, right? So I want everyone listening today that to know that uh, Connected au Succès is there for them to help them to uh, help them succeed it will be not always easy but it's uh, like it's worth it so we need to work hard we need to share we need to grow together and this is what Connected or Success aiming to do through coaching and training and conference facilitation so Beautiful. I want everyone Yes, to know that. Thank you so much. Now, hold Holly. on. I know you're based in Canada, but you're doing in-person work, but you're also doing virtual. Are you able to work with yes. those all over the world? Just want to make sure. Exactly. Yes, because I can do uh, with people in Canada, but I can also, I would be very pleased to reach everyone everywhere in the world because we can do online, we can do virtual. Yes. Now, also, um, you know, along with your, um, you know, your website, which, by the way, you could read in multiple languages, right? (laughs) Um, (laughs) You know, Connect to Success. Uh, She's here. You can go to her YouTube channel to see more videos as well. Do you have any upcoming events? I know there was one just, uh, I guess I missed in March. Is there anything coming up that uh, we should be aware of? Uh, Not, not, not uh, this now. No, not yet. Yeah, but I'm working on an event with another organization that I'm part of. It's uh, in July the 31st. And it's uh, the African Woman Day. It's every uh, July the 31st. Okay. And there's La Journée Internationale de la Femme Africaine. So we are preparing this event. It will take place here in Toronto. And we are going to um, uh, give the opportunity to uh, women, African women that are leaders, here uh, can be here in Canada, but it can be because we are going to do online sessions. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're going to promote them and we're going to give them a space to come and show for the, those who are uh, entrepreneurs. We're going to give them the opportunity to come and show their businesses. Yes. Beautiful. And I guess we we um, uh, also should point out uh, organizations, entrepreneurs, individuals, you're really here helping so many. And you have an unshakable faith, you say, in the potential of all people, and in particular of racialized populations. So, again, their objective is to, you know, help through their services like leadership summit, retreats, training, conferences, and everything to develop self-confidence. So. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we want to thank you for being here, of course, and remind us one more time how we can contact you at Connect Our Success, please. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the opportunity. And you can contact Connect Au Succès by phone on uh, plus one six four seven two one seven two zero five seven on the website www 
connecté au succès C O N N E C T E R A U S U C C E S dot com and also on our uh, social media Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Connecté au succès and on LinkedIn, Vivian Sinan. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh my goodness. Well, hold on. I got to thank you for being here. Great to see you live on the Zoom today as well and wishing you more success. And I hope our listeners do reach out to you uh, to benefit from um, all your programs, your visions, your values, and how you could be of service. So thank you again for being here. Pleasure having you back and hopefully we'll connect yeah. again soon. Bye. Bye. Take Have care. a fantastic day. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Hey, Dad, how do airplanes fly? What's in this box? Can I touch this? Where does sand come from? Is this tree good for climbing? What happens if I mix these two things together? How are babies made? What does this thing do? Kids are curious about everything, including guns. Talking to them about gun safety in your home is a good first step, but you can do more. Always keep your guns locked, unloaded, and stored separately from ammunition. Storing your guns securely is the best way to prevent family fire, including unintentional shootings. For more information on safe gun storage and ways to keep your family safe, visit endfamilyfire.org. That's endfamilyfire.org. What do we keep in the attic? What's this thing called? Can I ride my bike backwards? Like I said, kids are curious. It's up to us to keep them safe. Brought to you by End Family Fire, Brady, and the Ad Council.